HIV and AIDS is going to still be there. It's going to take time for people to like really notice that it's wrong to sleep around, it's wrong to rape people, it's wrong to have extra partners without taking, sleeping with them without taking precautions. I was raped uh, in 1994. I was still a student and I had to deal with being HIV positive and being raped. It was, it was very difficult for me. I, mean, I stayed one year without coming to my family. Not saying they didn't want to accept me, but they were very scared. And then I told my mom, I came back home after a year. And then I started teaching them about HIV because I'm one person who loves cooking and my mom was scared that I can infect them by so doing. I tried to to, to, to like bend myself, the whole body, but I was bent just here. And then the second time I took 70 tablets and then it was, it was difficult. I think the other thing is because I was scared. Not knowing, saying you're HIV positive, it's not gonna help you because you always think about dying. Even now, there are still people who are like, they're doing wrongs to me. You know, they think a person who's HIV positive is because of them sleeping around. But you don't like apply for HIV, it happens to anybody. It can happen to a person who's married. I lost my friends, but I'm only left with one out of many friends I used to have. And some of them died because of HIV. After knowing that there were students who were HIV positive, most of them were scared. Some of them dropped out of school. You know, it was not easy, and most of the students failed because of HIV and AIDS and being discriminated against. So, and I was one of them who just told them myself that I, I don't have to stay in the school. Rejections, it's when the teachers were saying nasty words about uh, students and mostly women because they were saying they're the ones who bring HIV to school because they sleep around and they don't want to teach people who are dying. Why should they? Like, they started not coming to classes, sitting in the staff room, drinking or having fun because they said there's no need to teach people who are going to die. It was like, ah, so why should I bother myself educating myself or, you know, trying to have a future for myself because I'm going to die. A message for people who are infected and affected is that um, they don't have to think that it's, life is over. They have to move on with life, but they must take precautions. They must make sure that they live their life to the fullest and do right things. Dear Mr. President, our Tabumbe, we as the youth of South Africa need the lion leader to roar. We are standing in the midst of evil. One dreadful disease is being allowed to get more attention than the sufferers it possesses. 
Voices are screaming deep in the souls of the youth and our hearts seek rest from discrimination. The disease itself is not the true threat. Its symptoms is worse. Like rejection, alienation, loss of trust of one another, loss of faith in each other. Please, ye Lord, listen to the millions. Focus on the children. We need to address the needs of the youth infected by the dreadful disease and those affected by it. We need to feel that the HIV positive are encouraged to pursue careers and become leaders, that they are proud and lion-hearted. So there is a need for the youth to communicate and film is but one medium. In many schools around South Africa, the youth have been infected in mass numbers. One particular school in Soweto where students were under crisis from the time the media reported the incident till now. Many students are facing pressure, social and psychological as well as economical. This crisis we feel needs serious inv investigation and active reactions. We as the youth, thank you. So I'm on person who makes sure that uh, whatever chance I have, I use it in a right way. And I still enjoy sex a lot. Use a condom. Because sex is something that is very enjoyable for everybody. It's not something that you have to change because of HIV positive. So you have to look after yourself and make sure that you live your life to the fullest and don't depend on other people. If you've got dreams, make sure that you fulfill your dreams. Blast been the villa, you've been blocking heat from your path. So big a get now. Well, I'm just a freestyle rapper, lyrical song. Got my flipping up in Kosa. No doubt, fit on me, my ferrat, and Kosa. Well, I like this one, fit on the gal, them with the sweet cock of butter. Mixing him up on the reggae together. 